Hello guys. So today we have the Endress Hauser RIA45 controller. And this controller we are using it as a level control. But we can also use this for other applications as well. It's like temperature control, etc. So we are using it as a level control and I'm going to show you how to set up this a controller for level control use so there are many parameters for this controller but I'm going to show you the most common or most important parameters okay so to go to the settings menu we have three buttons here uh, let's press the E button press and hold okay so this one will show display so you're already in the setup page to navigate use this two button I will navigate to set up then press E to enter okay so first things first is to configure your analog input uh, in this factory or in this controller we are using uh, pressure transducer which outputs a current 4 to 20 milliampere so let's enter to that analog input see uh, depending on your sensor or transducer for this application we are using the current type next navigate okay so the signal range could, is 4 to 20 milliampere you can change this by your enter and these two buttons to change it you can also use your 20 milliampere for this application we will use 4 to 20 milliampere and then this is one so we are uh, when we enter we already proceed to the next setting so lower range of your sensor is zero okay and next the upper range is 100 the tag so by default this is the tag but you can also change this can change it if you want to go back press the two button together okay so you're back so let's continue so the unit you can also change but uh, I keep it as default next offset offset is when you want to compensate your uh, transducer value for example you want to increase it by one or decrease it by some amount you can configure this one but for now we keep it as default uh, reset the min max no we will not do that okay so back so all right so next setting okay let's keep that as is you have also analog output for this controller but we will not use it we are using the relay ones this relay one is a normally open and normally close contact depending on your program in this controller so we will be using this to turn on or turn off the pump whenever the tank is full or empty so let's see inside this assignment analog input so it is assigned to the analog input so okay function we are using this relay one for maximum meaning that the when the tank is full the output or the relay one output will turn off of course we have set point when we reach this set point the relay one will trigger you can change this by entering okay. back hysteresis okay so hysteresis when the set point is reached, for example 30, it's your set point. When the actual value is reached to 30, then of course the level will drop down since uh, you are transferring some water from the tank. The value will definitely go down. So when it will be turned on again, the relay one will be turned on again, is determined by the hysteresis. Okay, so 
the actual value for example is 30 and you will subtract 2.5 the hysteresis from the actual value that's the time the pump or the relay 1 output will turn on again so for example that is 2.5 oh sorry your set point is 30 now the level of the tank reached 30 then the relay 1 will turn off okay then the level will drop since you have a hysteresis of 2.5 the relay 1 output will turn on again at you know 27.5 value okay we hope it's clear okay bye of course you also have a relay 2 you have a 2 relays in this controller so you can configure it as well but for this application we configured I configured it as a minimum so that the tank level goes to minimum the relay 2 will turn off okay so I set the set point as 7 because it is the minimum value that I like stairs is 0 I want the relay 2 to be turned off immediately and no stairs is okay okay so yeah that's basically the most common and most important uh, parameters that we need to configure for this type of application but of course there are some parameters as well in this uh, controller that you can configure based on your requirement so that's all for now thank you very much